All she wanted was oh, 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 oh. Aloha! In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Neptune Pitch Adjuster and Voice Synth. Neptune is a combined pitch corrector, pitch shifter, and voice synth. You can use it to automatically or manually correct flat or sharp monophonic pitches, or to manually add polyphonic backing vocals to a lead vocal signal. You can also use it to create weird vocal effects or other types of sound effects. The different effects can be used either separately or in combination. We'll start off this tutorial by showing a typical pitch correction situation. Here we have a lead vocal track which sounds pretty alright most of the time, but has a couple of notes that we want to correct. Select the lead vocal track in the sequencer and create a Neptune device. The Neptune device is created and routed as an insert effect in the audio track device. When I play back the vocal track, you can see that the Neptune display shows the detected pitches as yellow vertical lines. The green vertical line shows current target note. This is the pitch that the audio is being corrected to. Above the display are selectors for root key and scale selection. Here, you can select root key and one of six preset scales. If you want to use your own custom scale, you just click on the virtual keyboard to select or deselect notes. For this example, we'll stick with a preset scale. Here, we can adjust the catch zone. The catch zone determines to what target notes the input pitches should be corrected. The red horizontal lines in the display show the catch zone range. Where there are no catch zones present, the input notes will be let through unaffected. Here you set the correction speed from slow to fast. Almost cheerful! Oh well. Now the vocal track is starting to sound really good. There is one part of the track where I want to completely change the notes. The automatic correction won't work here since I want to change the pitches several semitones. Instead, I can temporarily override the automatic pitch correction by sending MIDI notes to Neptune. Make sure the MIDI selector is set to pitch adjust. When I'm adjusting the pitch several semitones, I want to make sure the original formant of the voice is preserved. Otherwise, it will sound as if another person was singing these notes. Activate the formant section and leave the shift knob in the default 12 o'clock position to preserve the original formants of the voice. Now, let's create an instrument track for the Neptune so I can record the notes I want to correct the pitch to. Oh, in my hair, oh, in my hair. All I want. Let's listen to the result. Oh, ribbons in. Oh, in my hair, oh, in my hair. Okay, sounds good. Here, we use automatic pitch correction, and in this part over here, we override with manual correction via MIDI. Now, let's check out how we can use the voice synth to generate additional harmonies out of a lead vocal track. We'll use the same audio track for this example as well. Click the MIDI button to select Voice Synth. Let's play back the lead vocal track and play some chords on the MIDI keyboard. I can also use pitch bend and mod wheel to bend notes and to add vibrato to the harmonies. This works for pitch correction as well. And finally, let's have a look at the transpose function. The transpose function performs stiff pitch shifting of the input audio. Transposition can be made on all types of monophonic audio material, pitched and non-pitched. You change the transpose value by clicking the semi and cent spin controls. 
If you want to preserve the formants of the input signal, make sure the formant button is on. You can also shift the formants up and down to change the character of the audio. Formant shift can be made both on pitch adjusted signals and transposed signals. So, there's a quick look at how you can use Neptune in Record. Deep as that. <laughs>